In my book on fearlessness, I wrote about how critical it is to have a tribe of women friends whose advice you value and who can support you in good times and bad. So with me today are the wonderful actress, Christine Latte, Christine Hassler, author of the 20-something manifesto, and Jane Buckingham, who wrote The Modern Girl's Guide to Sticky Situations. With my tribe, at some point, the discussion usually turns to relationships. Today, I just want us to focus on what makes relationships work. You two have been married the not longest. Each, not to each other. Each other. I, mean, <laughs> I, know, I don't want to say it here. But the day is young, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I've been married longer than anyone since the beginning of marriage, um, <laughs> to almost 27 years. So what's the secret? If there was one thing that really made it work? Not seeing each other very much. <laughs> Honestly, I think that it's important to have time apart and to both of you to have careers and things that you are um, individually uh, passionate about and bring that to the table. I think that the most important relationship you have is with yourself. So the better that relationship is, the more confidence you have, the more able I think you are to not only attract a relationship, but to sustain it. Because you're not going to be looking at that outside person to fulfill you. That's the thing that I most resonate to, because the more fulfilled I am, the less I look to someone outside myself to fulfill me, the easier and the more fun the relationship. Once you have children, it's much harder, isn't it? I think you have to have a date night, hopefully every week, because otherwise it's so easy to be consumed by the children. And of course, on our date night, all we talk about is the <laughs> I think it can be harder for the man when you have children in the sense that the women often are spending more time with them and I think that you have to remember that it is a relationship that has its own needs just as your children do. And listening. Listening is really a skill we all need to develop more and more because I think in any relationship sometimes all we want to do is we want to feel heard. That, mm. That's it. Could you repeat that because I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? But I find one key for me has always been how quickly do I forgive something? Mm. If I can go to bed every night and have sort of forgiven myself for what I did that wasn't up to my standards mm -hmm. and, and what others did, and then start the next day fresh. I think with anything, we tend to look at the negative sometime. And I was married. I'm not married anymore. Maybe it's because we saw each other too much. After <laughs> <hearing>. <laughs> we, we spent too much time together. But that was one of the things I really learned is that I was constantly looking about, you know, what could he do differently or what expectations wasn't he meeting? And I didn't spend enough time feeding, you know, the relationship. I think that we think that we can remodel someone, make them into exactly what we want, and they're not clay. So I think it's really about saying, here are all the benefits that I have by being with this partner, instead of always trying to make it perfect, because no one can live in a relationship like that day after day if they always feel like they're being criticized. Thank you so much. This has been absolutely amazing, and it's so great to have you all here.